What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Trail James. And, um, you know, I just want to thank God for being here one more time. And uh, also, if you are new to my channel, uh, just want to say hey and welcome to, you know, my channel. Um, on my channel, I, I am heavy about talking about God. Uh, delivering God's message and really, you know, uh, getting in, uh, getting his, his word out there because we are living in the last days. And also um, with the very fact of knowing that Jesus is soon to come back, it is important that we go ahead and jump on these things. Like if God has called you into ministry and and he called you to be, you know, a prophetess, a prophet, uh, evangelist, whatever God had called you to be. It's important that you go ahead and, you know, uh, start, especially if God has called you to it. It's important that you go ahead and, and start w like working on it, like begin in it. And, 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 uh, also, uh, yes, um, but that's why, um, I, I have this channel to glorify God and to make sure that everything I talk about it, glory, it, it honors God. And so, uh, I just want to let y'all know, you know, um, that, I am not someone who will, you know, lead y'all astray and 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 have y'all questioning yourselves or God and asking Lord, is he saying the right thing? Like I'm I'm here because, you know, God has uh, given me this opportunity to come into you and to speak to you. But today's uh message or title it is called bargaining with god and so i'm pretty sure uh, a lot of us at some point in time in our life we had prayed to god we said to god we said lord if i do, do this will you do that for me and and so I want to let y'all know that bargaining with God it is wrong um, because of the fact I want to, you know, point out to the fact that when, uh, when we say, God, if I do this, will you do that? Uh, that lets you know right there that you are not truly committed to what you, you of, 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 of what you want to or want to do for God because if you were truly committed you uh you would do it without saying God if I do this will you bless me with this will you open that door in this and that so a lot of times y'all a lot of us we bargain with God and we don't even know it and so it is not good that we make a deal with God and, and, and then try and, 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 you know, call ourselves, uh, trying to, uh, trying to do something f for God just to get something back in return. Because, um, in reality, I mean, it, I, I just to hear about it and, and, and just to know that, you already know from the jump that it's it's not right, especially in the eyes of God uh, to make a deal with God saying, God, if I pray long enough for two hours today, will you bless me uh, with money? God, if if I give you time today, will you bless me to be with this person or that person? And see, y'all, that's wrong. We are never, ever, ever to bargain with God and saying, God, if I do this, because 
that lets you know that, like I said, there is, first of all, there is no loyalty to God. There, there is no true commitment towards God. Because, see, if you were truly committed, you would do it without even saying, God, if I do this, will you do that? Like, if we, if we are truly committed to God, we, uh, we will still praise God. Uh, uh, we will still come out with God's, uh, 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 God's messages from our heart. And because of the fact that we love God. So it is to it. So it it's never for us. It's never meant for us to bargain with God. And then also, y'all, I want y'all to understand. I want y'all to understand that God is not a genie. And just because you know we ask God for something, we cannot always expect God to say yes. Like God is not some genie in a bottle. You know, that's waiting for you, uh, you to rub the lamp and then say, oh, God, come out now. Uh, I summon you. It's nothing like that. God, God will not always give you a yes answer. Uh, God is a God of yay and nay, yes and no. So uh, when it comes to us praying to God, we should always be in uh uh, uh, we should always be mindful of the fact that um, uh, that God is a yes or no God. And so, and and even if God do tell you no, that's not for you to get upset with God and and turn your eyes away from Him. Is is not for you to turn your back on God. Uh, that's for you to just trust God. And and also, if God tell you yes, um, that's of course for you to trust God, even when you do not have it right then and there. Because see, God could be telling you yes, but you not receive it until like a year or 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 two years later, or or possibly you know months ahead, you know. So so therefore, like. Like, uh, God is not a genie. So, always be mindful that when we pray to him, do not always expect a yes and do not always expect a no. Just, like, this is what I do. Uh, like, when I pray to God, I say, God, if it be your will. So, either you, uh, so either you grant the request that I ask for. Or, 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 or either that you don't. And even if you do or don't, Lord God, I will still give you the praise. I will still worship you. I will still bless your holy name. And so, uh, so y'all, that's the way that we all should be. Because that, uh, that lets God know, know that you are truly committed and loyal to him. Like, it lets him know that you truly love him uh, regardless of what he give you and in, in regards to what he takes away from you. And then also, uh, when you are asking God of things, what are your true intentions? And so I am reading out of James chapter four, verse two through three. And it reads, ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have. And cannot obtain ye fight in war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. And verse three, it says ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lusts. So therefore, a lot of us, uh, when we pray uh, to God, asking him for something like. Uh, for one thing, God knows. So he knows if you are asking him. Uh, to, uh, to consume it upon your lust for your own self greed, or if you are asking him, uh, for whatever it is, so that you can be a blessing to not only to yourself but to others around you. So if you ask God for something, just uh, be greedy. For example, if you are a male, a man, and you ask God for a woman. 
And if you ask him for a woman because of the fact that you want sex all the time, you are asking a miss. You, you, you are asking God based off of your lust. And see, and see, that's why I said, I said, what are your true intentions? Because if your intentions are not right, if, it, if your intentions are not lining up with the word of God, and then, uh, therefore, you will not receive what you ask God for. But if you ask God for something and it is aligning up with his word, if God see that that what you ask for is going to glorify him, then and then, yes, God will bless you to have it. But like I say, you cannot ask it. You, you cannot ask God for something just to consume it upon your own, own lust. If you ask God for anything, let it be to where you are able to change lives. Let it be to where you are able to bless other people. So, so uh, like I said, um, it's wrong to bargain with God. And if we talk to God about anything, if we pray to him about anything, let it be of something that comes from our heart and and let us do things for God coming from our, our heart and not always asking God for something and to expect something in return. So uh, do not bargain with God. And also when you ask God for something, um, ask yourself, what are your true intentions? And so, um, so this is the, uh, the, the message for today and i just want to let y'all know that i love y'all and stay in the word of god because the word of god will feed you it will make you whole like keep calling on the name of jesus christ and keep reading staying rooted and grounded in his word and because he will never lead you astray i love y'all and y'all take care all right bye